Hello, Dr. Carrie Hepburn here. So I had started, this is going to be a part of a five video series, and it's based on some of the work that Compass PD has been doing with districts regarding making long range plans where we are aligning curriculum cycles, best practices, assessment, um, all of the things, district initiatives to create a plan that just really is systematic and makes sense. And so by now you should have watched the first video where I kind of highlight what we're gonna be doing. And then the second video is called the sweet spot. And this video, the third video is called start with the why. And so the start with the why is based on Simon Sinek's work. If you have a few minutes, it's really worth spending the time watching Simon Sinek and his TED talk. I also highly recommend his book called Start With The Why. That is some of, I used that book and some of his other research in my doctoral work when I did backward design planning um, on my dissertation. And so I find it incredibly powerful and very thoughtful. So I highly recommend you check that out. Let's get started here. This is a Saturday morning that you guys are getting me. Um, so I'm trying to get, all the things done while I'm just really being reflective about it and thinking about some of the great learning I've done with districts the last couple of days. Okay, so let's get started thinking about starting with the why. And Simon Sinek talks about the golden circle. And so here's kind of what it looks like. It's the why, the how, and the what. Many times, especially in schools and districts, we go directly to the what and the how, and we never really get to what I call the heart of the work, which is the why. And so when I'm meeting with districts, we literally spend a full day on the why and the what. And sometimes this is some of the hardest work that we do because it's very internal and it's very thoughtful. So when we start thinking about what is our why, um, there are some things that kind of come to mind that you specifically want to think about when it comes to like, what's my why? So you wanna think about like, what is my why? And everyone in the room needs to have their why visible or voiced so that you as the facilitator have the ability to be able to capture all of the reasons why people think the work that you're doing is important. So I always start with giving an example about why I think this work is important. Um, being, um, I, my mom did not was not able to graduate high school, so she had to drop out in the eighth grade and um, didn't have an education. And so when my parents got divorced and she was in her mid 40s and she didn't have her education, that made finding a job extremely difficult. Now, the story ends well in that she did get her GED. She went back to school um, and was able to get her associates. However, she always had to work. She, she did that later in life, started at an entry level job at close to 50 years old. And like that just set her up in a way that um, made life a lot more difficult. So I believe that education and knowledge is power. And so I really wanna make sure that's like what drives me every single day in this work that every single kid gets a chance every kid gets an education and a choice. So I always start with what my why is so that it kind of creates a safe space and then allow everyone to share. So we'll start with kind of like what's our why and then we go into like what our hopes and our dreams are. So a lot of times things like giving kids choice, having options, making an impact, kids feeling empowered. Those are the kinds of things that come out and then we'll look at trends and talk about trends that we've noticed. So we might look at data. Well, we do look at data. We'll look at data. We might have qualitative and hopefully you have quantitative data from your students and from your parents and from your teachers about how they feel about like the course or the instruction or the, or the resource, all of those things. So that can go into your why. 
So from all of that, we develop like, what is our why? Why is this important? And it's important for you to take the time to do this work. And it really does sometimes frustrate people and they feel really uncomfortable, but this is going to be the communication that you're going to use as you start to communicate with your staff or your district about why or and how, which we'll talk about later, the importance, the value of this work and how you're going to tie it all together. So don't skip this. So this is the first thing that you do. And then the second thing is like, what do you want? Like, what is it that you're hoping? Um, I always think about um, Walt Disney. And so Walt Disney, he said that his dream started with a mouse, a dream and a mouse. And he created Walt Disney just with a dream and a mouse. And um, think about creating in the what, the vision statement of what you hope um, for your students. So thinking about your why, thinking about the things that you've heard from your staff, thinking about if you're focusing on a specific content about what you want for your students. So I'm going to try to really quick for you guys, give you an example of a vision statement um, here. So this isn't, this is not a refined vision statement, but it could be that students live, that we live in a community of learners that engage students in establishing a heart for literacy or a love of literacy. And through that students will be engaged in authentic, relevant experiences. They're going to build and share their knowledge. They're going to learn how to discern information and be able to communicate effectively. And think about the power of saying, this is our vision of what we want for our students and here's why. And you're going to do that work there before you even start thinking, which is the final step the how. That's where you develop the plan. So the why and the what will take about a day and people get really uncomfortable and you, part of your job as the facilitator is to rest in that uncomfortableness. Be like, I can tell that this just feels awkward and that's okay because what I can promise you is when you get to the how, everyone sees how it fits together. And so what I'm going to do over the next two days is you can expect for me to show you how we took the best practices, how we took starting with the why and then began creating a plan that was long range and it was intentional. I hope you found this helpful. Have a great day.